Kusini Water Desalination Plant, in partnership with Red Bull at the VNA Waterfront, will provide safe drinking water solutions for low-income communities. A desalination plant purifies seawater and makes it consumable for us as human beings. We spoke to Murendeni Mofumo to get more insight on his invention. Desalination is becoming important because if you look at um, the, the, the world available resources of water, um, climate change um, is showing rising temperatures um, and it's showing that more and more of the world is changing in, in, its, in, its, in, its, in, in its current form. We're getting less and less rain. So communities will be m more and more decentralized from big water treatment systems or big bulk water treatment systems that, the, that, uh, that sort of have been the norm for, for, for years. So, um, so in places such as Cape Town, places where it's, 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 it's surrounded by the sea, it's important that we look after the sea, number one. And secondly, it's important that we, com we, 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 we take that resource and, uh, and, 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 and ensure that we can supply water to the community um, with it in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a responsible manner. So last year, at the end of 2016, actually, we, we had an idea. We had a basic system that we designed. Um, I applied for the regular monthly co program because I'd heard about it from a, a colleague of mine, uh, called Samantha Tolomba. Um, so she had spoken a lot about the regular Eco program in accelerating social entrepreneurship. So I applied because I thought I'd like to you know, get the support. Um, so me, I went through the academy and um, and then I launched the first product in October last year. So the process of desalinating water from the sea, I mean, it's not an easy process um, because the biggest challenge is obviously you've got a lot of salt coming in. So um, so salt obviously um, would especially especially here in the Cape Town where the temperature is very, very low as well. So it's a very complex um, process. It's a very costly process. Um, it's a very energy intensive process as well. Um, so um, so uh, uh, in the past, it's been a few countries that have led um, desalination. Like for example, Israel will be another great country because of the advances in technology in the country. So we in South Africa need to lead our own innovation when it comes to desalination. Um, at the end of the day, it's 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 a complex complex system. It's a very um, it's a very lucrative business at, at at this point in time because more and more buildings are getting off the the the, the water. Um, more and more businesses are getting off the water. Um, what do you call grid? At uh, this stage, we're expanding the team. We need more and more people to work in the team. But more importantly, we need more and more local partners. Um, so, so water and sanitation projects, especially, especially projects that are aimed at, at low-income communities, fail within the first two to three years. A lot of them fail. And that's because there's no local ownership. There's no local partnership. So not just are we looking for employees and people to drive our vision, but we're looking for to, for more and more local people. We're working with a local NGO here in Kailicha um, to, 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 expand, um, to expand our services. The Kusini water desalination plant will be fully functional by October and the launch date is yet to be determined. Babalokuma for our City News, Granger Bay Waterfront.